In the UK, religious schools are known as faith schools. This seems to be the opposite of what education should be. It introduces bias from the very start. I would argue that telling children that the contents of a holy book are fact rather than opinion, legend, fiction or mythology, is highly questionable in terms of helping the children to learn to think, to analyse and make sense of the world around them. For all its shortcomings, one of the best things about America is its constitution and the requirement to keep church and state separate. I would argue that it's equally important to separate the church and all religion from education. I certainly don't mean that children should not be taught about religion. It's an important part of our history and culture. But I would say it's very important to let the kids know that some people believe that God created the universe while others don't. Some people believe that religious holy books are the inspired and inerrant word of God. Others don't. We've all heard of Norse and Greek mythology, but I doubt that many people today would insist that Odin or Zeus are real characters in the real world. It should be made clear to children that the way the ancient Greeks and Scandinavians felt about their gods is very similar to the way a lot of modern humans feel about Allah and Jehovah. Unfortunately, religion tends to suppress curiosity, which I don't think is at all healthy for young and developing minds. I was in a church hall not so long ago, and there were a number of what I thought were quite chilling posters and drawings by and aimed at three to six-year-olds who attended Sunday school there. I wish I'd taken a picture to show you, but I didn't think of it at the time. The messages being repeated were, Do not question God. You must love and fear God at the same time. You must also worship him regularly and pray for forgivenesses for the sins which you inherited from Adam and Eve. Satan is evil and wicked and he will try to tempt you away from God and to question him. You must resist this at all costs. If that sort of thing isn't mind control, then I don't know what is. I know that Richard Dawkins caused a lot of controversy when he made a comparison between religion and child abuse, but I can relate to how he felt. Obviously, the severity of physical child abuse should not be diminished in any way. But I worry that organised religion has some very dodgy methods for spreading itself. Dodgy in terms of benefiting the religion, and not its followers. The education of our children is incredibly important. We need to get it right. Everyone involved with education should be on the lookout for indoctrination, and avoid trying to tell kids what to believe. Telling them that they must believe so-and-so should set the alarm bells ringing. We need to teach our young people how to think, not what to think. This means nurturing their curiosity, not discouraging it. They are the future, after all. Who would argue that getting education right is not important? Who would try to persuade children that the contents of one particular book are so special that to question it is evil? Why do we allow this sort of thing to happen in the 21st century?